I typically never look forward to Michael Bay movies. Sometimes they're shit, sometimes they're a bunch of fun, and when they're fun, they are stupid fun. And Ambulance is absolutely stupid fun. But it is like getting a shot of adrenaline for 2 hours and 16 minutes, and you don't get to take a breath until the very end. This is one of Michael Bay's best films. Let's go, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing Ambulance. This is Michael Bay's brand new action crime drama starring the likes of Jake Gyllenhaal, Yahya Abdul-Mantin II, and Eliza Gonzalez. And it's about two robbers who steal an ambulance after their bank heist goes bad. Now, when you can't... Here's the thing. When it comes down to me, I love bank heist films. It's like my bread and butter. I'm guilty pleasure for that. And here's the thing, Jake Gyllenhaal is one of my favorite actors working today, and Yahya Abdul-Mantin II, the last like 10 years, has really much been skyrocketing as one of my favorite actors working in Hollywood. Eliza Gonzalez is also fantastic, so great cast right there. But then you have Michael Bay, who, for me, his last film was not great. I nearly hated half the Transformers movies, and it's just, he has become a director that I don't look forward to his movies anymore. Because he has this shtick, this weird awkward humor in places, this crazy cuts and edits at times that really make no sense and absolutely hurt my head at times, but when Michael Bay works good, like his last film, Six Underground, very much felt like a parody of what he does. And I think Ambulance carries some of that, but in a good way and in an entertaining manner that I'm very much excited to talk about today. So make sure, guys, if you guys are new here and you love talking movies, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking movies over here on a daily basis, as well as comment down below your guys' thoughts. Are you excited for Ambulance? What's your favorite Michael Bay movie? Let's discuss it all down there. Starting with my pros, because I'm all about film appreciation, Ambulance absolutely has some incredible performances, and I really mean that. For all the stupid lines, weird, awkward dialogue, and even certain things that you expect from a Michael Bay movie the performances outweigh all of that absolutely excelling and going above and beyond the material given and you would expect no less than the actors given on board here and Jake Gyllenhaal is unhinged insane and absolutely terrifying in here but he's fantastic as well as Yahya Abdul-Mantin he is insanely great in here he is really much the heart of the story and someone that you can actually come around to believe Leave and cheer for even though again his brother is a psychopath at times Eliza Gonzalez I also think is pretty damn good in here as well I didn't love all the ways that they wrote her character but still enough she's also containing a lot of heart to the story and again makes you want to cheer on and continue to see where this story goes. And honest to God, if it wasn't for those three, I think a lot of the material here when it comes down to the story would falter. Because as the film runs at 2 hours and 16 minutes, a lot of the action is very visceral. And like I mentioned, an adrenaline shot never stops, keeps on firing, and never just... It just keeps going for two hours and 16 minutes and when it finally ends you really do feel like you can take a breath but one of the things that I was very surprised by now I have some issues when it comes down to repetitiveness but the actual car chase because this is pretty much just a giant car chase for two hours it's actually not as repetitive as I thought it would be now some of the shots and takes to that do get a little bit repetitive and I think a lot of that could have been edited down but when you actually look at the way they shot this movie, they're always adding a new dynamic. There's one point where they actually do a surgery in this ambulance. Now, while the surgery is absolutely ludicrous and they actually take this clip and my girlfriend said, she goes, that clip ain't shit. And they attach it to an, like an attestant to keep this guy alive. Makes no sense. You got to turn your brain off at that point. And if you already haven't turned your brain off by that point, you're, you're probably not loving this movie. But... Those were certain things that kept me out of it, and but always brought me back into it because of how exciting those moments were. And I was also like always engaged during these point in times that I was always looking forward to what that next step was, where what is the next plan for these characters, and that was actually really smart in the way that they were able to pace that out and make this the car chase not feel as repetitive as it could have been even though again almost the entire chase like Mad Max Fury Road which is a way better made film 
they did a great job at bringing that visceral nature, and I think that's a lot of credit needs to be given to Michael Bay in that fact. Michael Bay knows how to shoot action. In fact, the way that he directs a lot of the drone shots are unlike a lot of the different drone shots that we get nowadays, and I think it is actually some of the strongest uses of drone. Now, again, some of the editing in there we'll talk about, but the way that it zooms past, ex excellent camera movement in there and again a lot of that credit has to go to michael bay michael bay knows how to shoot action he knows how to contain and give the audience what they want and while he has his bay isms in there when his bay isms are good they're really good and ambulance carries a lot of those even if it does have some of the baggage in the past but it really doesn't get in the way. In fact, let's start diving over to my cons. Some of the only cons that I really have for this movie while talking about Bayisms that he's had is some of the weird awkward humor in there. Sometimes it takes away from that intensity and kind of tries to give a more quieter moment that I don't think was absolutely needed as well as some of the editing in this film. They will show a car blowing up seven different versions or seven different camera angles of it and it wasn't needed. Like maybe one or two, fine, but it gets a little bit too jump cutty at times where it did to actually start to hurt my brain and exhaust me not just from the pacing and the intensity that you feel throughout this but the exhaustion also came from those and I do feel like it could have been tightened up to maybe make this film in an hour and 45 minutes and it would have been a more tightened up version and you wouldn't have lost any of the emotion or story that Michael Bay was trying to tell. Actually, going back to my pros one more time, Michael Bay did a really good job at actually visually storytelling. There's a lot in here that if you're not paying attention to, you will miss out, especially when it comes down to the behind the scenes kind of history on Jake Gyllenhaal and Mantine's characters. And I that was actually pretty good. Overall, again, just rounding out my cons before we get to my final thoughts. I overall just found the film, again, to be way too long, just like most Michael Bay movies, but still, I couldn't get enough of it. I think a lot of you guys will as well. You just need to really remember, set your expectations. This is a Michael Bay movie. Do not expect, you know, high concept here. I mean, it's two guys who steal an ambulance to get away in a heist, and it's a giant car chase the entire way through. One more thing I forgot to mention. There are a couple things in here that I noticed and my girlfriend noticed them too. There's this giant dog named Nitro. And there's that one point where you can totally tell someone is in the backseat holding him back, petting him. I thought that was just funny. Let me know if you noticed that as well. Seriously, Ambulance is probably the best Michael Bay film in quite a while. When it comes down to the action, it's visceral, it's intense. A lot of that is brought out about because of Jake John Hall's insane unhinged performance and Yaya Abdul Mantine's the second amazing emotional crux to it all. Eliza Gonzalez is absolutely great as well. While I do think her character is maybe the most underwritten character in the story, I thought she still had an emotional core to it all and her performance really brought that out. Michael Bay's action is absolutely visceral in here and I think a lot of people are going to be shoving popcorn in their face. This is an awesome stupid fun film that I had a blast with but it is one that absolutely exhausted me from some of the editing. It's not going to be for everyone and if you really can't turn your brain off you're not going to enjoy this one but honestly out of all the action films that i've seen over the last few years that really come down to the stupidity of this i think this is actually one of the more fun ones so with all that said i'm going to give ambulance a b thank you so much again guys for watching this you guys are really all the best make sure to hit that like and subscribe button comment down below if you want to see movies early well make sure to head on over to samsung films on how to see those and of course until next time stay classy